my name is Laura from Laura Mix Media and I am joining you today for another Stencil Girl blog post. Um, this time I am going to show you some of my process for some of these abstract kind of collage pages that I've been working on recently. Um, one thing that I really like to do is take some of my collage papers and kind of just pick out a couple and glue them down into my journal without really a whole lot of rhyme or reason. Um, I like to use some book text and then also some more craft paper or paper that I've stenciled on and stuff like that um, without really like a plan for anything. Um, so here, you know, I am, I'm using some Liquitex uh, thick matte gel medium and um, just kind of going through and adding stuff to um, what will inevitably become my background. So this next thing that I'm grabbing to glue down is a tree that I stamped onto a tea bag. Um, I really like uh, stamping stuff on tree bags and using it as a layer in my collage. It's unfortunate that I really am not a big fan of tea because I go through tea bags so quickly. <laughs> um, but I may just have to, you know, start start making some tea with the the purpose of, of just using the bags um anyway so now i am taking some gesso and kind of going over everything that i glued down um sometimes i do this uh in a like a more th thin way so like the gesso doesn't cover everything or you could also use clear gesso um so then you can see through it So with the coming of fall, I've been feeling, you know, some fall color vibes. So I'm using the Sedona Dina Wakely Media Paint and these two stencils, Abstract Botanical Grid and Abstract Rosette. Um, these have become kind of favorite and go-tos of mine. Um, and just because I think they're... You know, they have the floral elements and they have all these lines and interesting things to um, see. So I really enjoy them. So I'm kind of just stenciling randomly wherever I feel um, like I want to. And this, this process for me is really kind of open and abstract in itself. You know, I'm not going in with, you know, a whole lot of purpose. I mean, here, you know, my purpose is to, to show you guys my my process or whatever but you know I'm not saying this is what I want my end result to look like um, so now I, I added some water to my pages with my brush um, not as much water as maybe I had wanted although there it is just flowing off the side um, and now I'm taking some Payne's gray acrylic ink um, this is made by uh, Dale Rowney and um, I'm kind of just spreading it all over and kind of, you know, letting it swirl and drip and, and stuff like that. One of my favorite things about painting is, you know, watching the paint kind of mix and move around and, and kind of not really having the control over it um, that maybe sometimes we would like. So kind of just letting go and, and letting things happen. Um, and that's something, especially with acrylic inks, that you get quite often. 
So now while the paint and everything is still wet and there's a lot of water on the page, I am taking some of my instant coffee grounds and sprinkling it around. Um, so what will happen is it'll soak up some of the water and, you know, give you the coffee um, color and like this kind of almost splotchiness from like the the piles of the grounds and everything. It's really cool how it ends up um, looking and then it also mixes with the Payne's Gray really well to create a really neat color. So the next thing that I do with these uh, journal pages is I take my fine line bottle that's filled with uh, white fluid acrylic and I use it to journal some acemic writing across my pages. Um, here my bottle got a little clogged because I left it open um, without capping it. But um, so that kind of just finalizes the pages for me, I guess. And you know, just this whole process allows me to kind of get out of my own head and experiment and you know, let, let things kind of flow and, and try new things. And, and that's the whole point of these pages for me is just to kind of play around and you know experiment so I hope that this inspires you to maybe do the same thing and you know get out your products just kind of experiment without an end result in mind and yeah just see where it takes you thank you so much for watching